Hello and welcome to the Tripwire IP360 Learning Lab session on scanning the hard to reach places. I'm your host, Edward Smith, Senior Product Marketing Manager for Vulnerability Management Solutions at Tripwire. Today we're going to explore how virtual and cloud-based scanning technologies can be used to identify and measure risk on remote and third-party networks. And at the end of this webinar, you're going to leave with an understanding of how to use Tripwire IP360 and Pure Cloud Enterprise for several different use cases, including detecting vulnerabilities in systems that are visible to outside attackers, scanning remote locations that can't easily be accessed over a VPN connection, also learning how to assess the security of your business partners and supply chain, as well as how Pure Cloud Enterprise and the PCI ASV service can be used to assist with PCI DSS compliance efforts. So some of the challenges that the Pure Cloud service addresses. Before we get into the presentation, I just want to talk a little bit about some of the challenges that customers are facing with vulnerability assessment on these remote perimeter and third-party networks. So there's a need to access exposure to external attacks. So with perimeter systems, these are potentially a, an avenue of attack into your organization. And it's important to have an inside-in perspective, so the, the view of an attacker, uh, being able to assess the risk of those, those systems from the view of an attacker and access the exposure to those external attacks. And for organizations that have multiple locations ac across the globe, uh, there's a need to scan those extended networks. And oftentimes it's not cost effective to deploy and manage hardware in those remote locations. Um, oftentimes there's limited or, or no on-site resources that are there, um, but it's still important to have security controls in place and um, any data that's collected from those remote locations, it's important to have that information managed cent centrally. Oftentimes there's not an option to give um, remote access or uh, management of that information to that local um, on-site uh, support staff that might be there. And there's also deployment limitations as, as well. Um, so oftentimes a, a, there may not be virtual infrastructure or a place to, to deploy a physical hardware appliance. Another challenge would be mergers and acquisitions. So if an organization is about to acquire a company, oftentimes there's a need to gauge the, the state of security in that environment of the, the company that's being acquired. And Often this is under a deadline, so there's a need for quick risk assessment for due diligence as a part of that acquisition. Um, also with the supply chain and uh, partner networks, oftentimes um, other organizations are let in through a VPN connection or there's sensitive data that's being sh shared with partners in the supply chain and those can also be vectors of an attack into your, your organization and your environment. And so it's also important to assess the risk uh, in these environments as well. So what we'll be talking about today is, is Tripwire Pure Cloud. And this is basically an extension of your Tripwire IP360 vulnerability management solution, uh, as well as an extension or a source of data for Tripwire Security Intelligence Hub. And going beyond just a you know, device profile or scan of your internal network, there's the additional use cases that Pure Cloud can help you with. As I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, capabilities for scanning that perimeter, um, also performing internal vulnerability assessment of those remote offices, those partner networks, those M&A targets, being able to assess those internal environments without deploying an appliance. Then, of course, we have um, the cloud. So if you're using Amazon Web Services, EC2, um, while there's the option of a deploying a, a virtual appliance in those environments, Pure Cloud can also be used to assess those um, private virtual instances running in the cloud um, without deploying a, a, a physical or virtual appliance. And we've been talking, uh, you know, I've been mentioning vulnerability management, um, assessing applications, operating systems for, for vulnerabilities, um, but also web applications. Um, 
Tripwire Pure Cloud uses the same um, technology that IP360 uses. It's um, hosted in the cloud, um, but since we're using the same technology, the same platform, there's also the web application scanning. So if you're familiar with the web app 360 capability and IP360, that same functionality is available through Pure Cloud as well. And then finally, we have the uh, P PCI ASV, the uh, proof scanning vendor capabilities of Pure Cloud, which we'll talk about later in the presentation. So with Tripwire Pure Cloud, this is um, an extension of your IP360 implementation. So in, in combination with any hardware appliances that you have deployed, uh, any virtual appliance, virtual appliances that you have in a uh, private cloud or, or a public cloud, Pure Cloud is essentially another scanner that works in conjunction with that um, with that architecture. So this is a way of expanding that scanning scope reach. Um, globally across your extended networks. And to talk a little bit about the, uh, the technology running behind the scenes here, it's um, useful to take a look at what a traditional scanning deployment might look like, where a dedicated physical or virtual appliance is deployed on a remote network, um, on a third-party network. So this could be, um, let's say, a, a device profiler, um, that someone set up to scan at local network. And then that device profiler needs to report back to, to a VNE or, or send those results somewhere, and oftentimes that requires a firewall configuration to allow that communication. But with Pure Cloud, when performing internal vulnerability scans, there's, there's no need to deploy a dedicated appliance. And instead, what, what's going on is there's a secure connector that you download onto a machine. Um, it run, runs as a Windows service, and that is how the internal scans are performed. And the secure connector is, um, it's kind of like an agent, but better than an agent, because it can scan devices that are on the same subnet. So you don't need to go and install this connector on every machine that you're scanning. It's just um, needs to be set up on one machine, and then from there can, can assess um, any of the other machines that are on the same subnet. So let's talk a little bit more in detail about some of these use cases that PureCloud can address. So we'll start with network perimeter scanning. Um, with Tripwire P360, there's the ability to scan these in internal networks, but as I mentioned, there's these remote networks, these partner networks, third-party networks that also need to be assessed. And with Pure Cloud and the Secure Connector, um, that is used for those internal scans. But with perimeter scanning, um, there's no need to deploy um, any type of connector, any type of appliance. All of the, the scanning is performed from uh, Tripwire's uh, secure data center. So we can scan your internal facing, I'm sorry, internet facing systems, um, detect any vulnerabilities that are visible to outside attackers, um, including web application vulnerabilities. We can assess the attack surface. You can receive a report of what ports and applications are running on those devices. Um, and this can also be used for audit preparation for PCI, um, in addition um, to addressing the, uh, the ASV requirements. This is more of a thorough assessment than those PS PCI ASV requirements. For branch office scanning, so this would be a, you know, any, any place where it may not be cost effective to deploy and, and manage hardware or a virtual appliance in, in a multiple location. And this could be um, locations where just it's not really practical to deploy an appliance. There's, there's no space. There's no on-site resource to I install or manage it. So it's very ideal for um, uh, like a, a retail location that requires internal scans for PCI compliance. Um, and because this is all um, using our secure connector, there's no need to reconfigure firewalls. Um, there's no need to set up a VPN connection. And it's very easy to set up and install the secure connector. It's basically a, a one-click install. You can send someone a connector. Um, within a few clicks, they can set up that connector, and you can have uh, the ability to assess that, that network 
and we'll talk a little bit later uh, in detail about that in, in the demonstration. For mergers and acquisitions due diligence, oftentimes the need here is, is very uh, quick assessment of an acquisition target. So being able to gauge the status of the security in that environment. And in assessing the risk, that, that can also be uh, indicative of the uh, technical cost and, and effort to onboard the organization. So that could be a red flag if, if you are scanning a, a M&A target with pure cloud and there's a, a high risk, high amount of vulnerabilities in that environment. Um, that could be an indicator of other problems um, with, with that organization and their uh, IT uh, environment. Um, as I mentioned, this is a, doesn't require dedicated hardware, hardware or software, so it's a low installation profile, very quick and easy to set up. And then these results can be brought back in um, either to the Pure Cloud dashboard, which we'll take a look at in a little bit, or import it into the uh, Tripwire Security Intelligence Hub. For third-party assurance, and this, this could be a, a partner network, supply chain, really any, any outside organization that you give access to your sensitive data or access to your, your network. Often, um, you know, as we hear these stories in the news about, uh, you know, a big organization that, that gets hacked and the attackers made their way in, you know, through a side door, through uh, a partner, um, this, you know, underscores the need of um, being able to assess risk in those environments. And Again, the, you know, the key here is making it very easy to set up. You, you, know, you don't want to uh, burden your, your partner with you know, having to set up a, a device or, or run an appliance. The secure connector is a very quick and easy way to get that set up so that you can have visibility into the risk in these environments and uh, you know, these uh, networks that you're, you're attaching to your, your corporate network. So as I mentioned on that last slide there, is the ability to incorporate results from PureCloud into Tripwire SIH, Security Intelligence Hub. And this is something that an administrator, um, an SIH administrator, can set up. And what you'll want to do is create a new user account that's provisioned exclusively for integrating with SIH. So on the, on the machine that you have SIH installed, you'll want to locate the Tripwire Security Intelligence Hub in your programs directory. And in there is a configuration wizard. And on the database configuration page of the wizard, you'll, you'll click Next. And then on the external data source configuration page, you'll select VNE in the dropdown. And then you can enable the PureCloud integration, and that'll pull the data in from PureCloud for use in your SIH reports. Um, and then the screenshot on the on the, the screen here shows you what that setup looks like, and this is all covered in the documentation for PureCloud. But as you can see, it's, it's fairly easy to set up that integration so that you can see your PureCloud pure results um, side by side with the results from IP360. And then I also uh, wanted to cover the, uh, the PureCloud for PCI use case, and this is, um, Tripwire's PCI approved scanning vendor service. So this allows you to address the ASV requirement of the PCI standard. And we'll take a look at this in the, uh, towards the end of the demonstration, but it's um, a two-step process of, you know, first you do a discovery, find what assets are uh, in scope for the, the ASV, and then perform an assessment on that. And then the results um, come back, they can be amended, they can be set on sent on to your uh, institution uh, to prove compliance. So now we'll do a demonstration. So I've switched over to my web browser and we are looking at the Pure Cloud dashboard. And just to give you a quick tour of what you're seeing, the pane in the upper left here, the scan profile, this displays all of the scan profiles that are associated with your account, um, including profiles that are created by other users 
on your pure cloud account. So you can you can set up multiple users that can have access to the same account. Um, and if you click on these scan profiles, you'll see additional details. Um, you can click the collapse icon to pull that back up. And then these scan profiles can be filtered according to the pure cloud secure connector that's being used to perform the scan. So you can see in this all connectors list, these are all the, the secure connectors that I have installed for scanning different networks. And I can click on one of those and, and see the scan profiles that are associated with it. And also of note is the score column. So we can see the risk score for that profile. So for the last uh, vulnerability assessment, that's the, uh, the risk score for that network. And you'll notice that as I've clicked on that profile, the pane to the right, the scan results pane, um, also the scan progress pane, that's displaying scan information related to that profile that I have selected. And the pane also will show the status of any scans that are running. So right now I don't, I don't have any scans that are running, but we would see a uh, progress indicator to uh, show us the, the progress for each of the hosts that are being scanned on the network. Um, so in this case, what we're looking at is a, a complete scan. So Pure Cloud is showing us the scan results pane for the, the scan that I have selected. And you can see in the list here, I can see the, the hosts that were found during that scan, uh, the, their risk score, as well as IP address, host name, et cetera. And then down at the bottom, the network overview pane is displaying an overview of the health of your network uh, in relation to Pure Cloud benchmarks. And the uh, scores here are based off of CVSS scores. So, you know, anything with a CVSS from 1 to 3.9 is low, 4 to 6.9 is medium, and 7 above is high. And these metrics are intended to provide you with a, a benchmark so you can compare your security posture against the, the benchmark of other Pure Cloud users. So that's a brief tour of the, the dashboard here. So let's, let's dive in and we'll We'll take a look at some of the, the capabilities in here. The first stop will be under the um, Manage Connectors screen. So if I click on my All Connectors menu, go to Manage Connectors, here we can see a list of all the connectors um, along with options for um, configuring the connectors. And just to um, make an, you know, underscore, underscore the point that these, these connectors are only necessary for those internal scans. So if you were um, just interested in performing perimeter assessments of externally facing systems, there's, there's no need to set up a secure connector. But for those internal scans, any, anytime you're doing an internal IP address, a pure cloud um, or a secure connector is required. And there's no additional cost for installing additional secure connectors. So there's, there's no limit on it, you can install as many uh, on as many devices as necessary. Um, and a little bit of background info on, on these secure connectors. What, what these are doing essentially is routing scans of IT, uh, internal IP addresses back to Tripwire's cloud-based scanners. Um, so it's not really doing a whole lot of work. Um, so it's not using a whole lot of the hosted hosting computers bandwidth or system resources. So on, on average, an internal scan may consume about 14 um, KB a second of, of bandwidth to perform a scan. And additionally, it's, it's running as a, as a service in the background. So if you know, somebody's on the machine or somebody's using the machine, there, there's nothing um, that, that's going to pop up or, or use those resources. And during a scan, the secure connector, it'll make an outbound connection to Pure Cloud and then that'll establish the connection for the scan and then once the scan is done that, that connection is closed. So installing the, the Pure Cloud secure connector, it's pretty straightforward. There's a download button. You click that download button, you can see that the download started for me. And um, what we'll see here is when that download completes, there's a unique um, GUID-like ID on the installer and that is what 
Secure Cloud uses or what the Secure, Connect, Secure Connector uses to check in with our service. So there's no need to enter credentials. Um, you know, let's say you're sending this to a partner. You don't need to send them your Pure Cloud username and password. They just double click on it, run it, install it, and that GUID sets the connection back to our service. So I'm not actually going to run the installer. Um, it's a pretty, pretty boring process anyways. You basically click next, wait about 30, 45 seconds, and it's done. And that connection is set um, automatically back to our service. Now, if you are sending this to a partner or, or a, you know, colleague, some, someone, you know, working on another machine, there is the option to distribute the secure connector. And you can type in what uh, what you'd like the connector name to appear as. So maybe it's the you know, Portland office. You can enter in an email address, hit distribute, and PureCloud will then email that email address with a link to download that secure connector. And again, it's, it's very simple. They just click the link, run the installer, it sets up the connection, and, and you're off. Okay, so now that we've set up our secure connector, let's set up a new scan profile. So a scan profile contains all the information that PureCloud needs to perform a, a scan. So that would include the IP space or IP addresses that you want to scan, the type of scan that you'd like to perform. For example, if you'd like to do a vulnerability assessment, a web application assessment. Also the credentials for assets that are on the network. So a username and password that PureCloud can use to log into those target machines to get um, deeper visibility into the applications that are on that machine and then any vulnerabilities that are affecting the OS or those applications. And then finally, we'll set a schedule on which the scan will run, how, how often it'll run, how often that scan will run. And we'll go into, into detail on each, each one of those parts um, in this demonstration. So with the network, uh, with the scan profile, all of these network settings that are in the scan profile will be applied to all of the scans that are, are run using this profile. So it's basically a, a combination of a secure connector and these network settings. So if you wanted to, to run a scan with different network settings or a different connector, then you just need to create a new scan profile um, or you know edit an existing one if you just want to make changes to it. So let's walk through setting up a scan profile. So I can give this profile a name. We'll just say it's a test profile. I can choose the connector that I would like to use to perform the assessment. So you'll notice that in addition to those secure connectors that I have set up, there's also this perimeter scan. And this is for doing those external perimeter assessments. So you can enter in a uh, publicly accessible IP address, one or more addresses or ranges, choose that perimeter scan, and then the hosted PureCloud service will assess those hosts for vulnerabilities. For this demo, what we'll do is we'll go through an internal scan setup for an internal network. And the options that I have here are a standard scan, and this would scan this would scan the entire network on which that secure connector resides. And in this box, um, or, or it's basically a, a, a kind of like a discovery scan. You don't need to specify any IPs. It's just going to assess anything that it has um, that it's able to access on that same network, that same subnet. This next option for scan cloud hosts, this would be perimeter assessment of devices in Amazon EC2. So if you have some uh, EC2 instances, um, and let's say you have a, you know, a lot of EC2 instances, you, know, you could go grab those IP addresses, get a big list, enter them in manually, or this cloud host sync option. If you, get, uh, if you enter your access key for AWS, this will query the EC2 API and grab a list of those assets automatically and add them as target hosts. So that's a good time saver if you're assessing those uh, public cloud environments. And then finally, this last option would be scanning for specific devices. So this basically allows you to enter in 
IP address, a range, a, a CIDR notation, and that will specify the targets for the scan. So for the demo that we're looking at, I'm going to choose standard scan and we will click next. Now we're on the scan settings page where we can choose different types of scans that we want to run. So the vulnerability scan, this is pretty straightforward. It's a vulnerability assessment. It identifies security vulnerabilities or weaknesses that are on any of the um, computer assets, network um, applications that we specified on the previous screen. So if you turn this off, this becomes a discovery scan. And a discovery allows PureCloud to identify all of the hosts that are running on your network. And we recommend doing a discovery scan first because then that will help you um, identify the assets on your network um, before running the full vulnerability scan so you'll know what the targets of that scan will be. And the reason that's important is um, especially if you're doing credential scans, then you'll at least know, you know what's out there and what credentials you'll need and then um, what, uh, as well as having a list of which devices need um, uh, uh, those credentials or, or having a list of devices to apply those credentials to. And we'll talk a little bit more about credential setup later on in the demonstration. The next option, the web application scan, this is for identifying weaknesses in web applications. And before you run this web application scan, there's some additional configuration that must be completed. So if we click Next, um, there's an option for virtual hosts, and um, as well as an option for credentials for web applications that we'll, I'll show you here in a moment. But on this virtual host page, there's a couple options for defining additional pages that you'd like to spider that may not be di directly linked from the site itself. And so we can go in, we can add a virtual host. And um, there's also an option for an exclude path. So if there's pages that you do not want scanned, you can enter those in here as well. And two other options for web application scans would be this recursion limit and the page limit. So the recursion limit, this specifies how deep into the web page structure the scan will go. So for example, um, you may have an index, index page that has links to additional pages only accessible from a sub-menu on the index page. And then that may go you know, further down, you know, maybe links from that page to other pages links from that page and so on. And so the structure could extend to, to multiple levels. And this will set you know, the number of levels deep that will go. And the, the default value is three. Um, you can set that higher. Just, just be aware that anything greater than a five can, can cause scanning delays because it increases the number of pages that need to be assessed. Um, and, and also be aware that these web application scans in, in general may take longer to complete. Um, simply because we're running additional tests, things may take longer. Okay, the next option is for custom vulnerability scan. And this helps you identify the presence of specific vulnerabilities. And when we go to the next page, we can see a list of all of the vulnerabilities that PureCloud can detect. And by the way, th this is the same coverage that IP360 offers. So this is the same um, ASPL vulnerability checks that we offer in IP360. They're also available in PureCloud. And, and by the way, we, are, we have a, a session um, for mastering ASPL, that advanced uh, security profiling language. That's the next webcast in the Learning Lab series. So if you want to learn more about how ASPL works, I invite you to join that, that session. But back to the, the custom vulnerability scan, I can type in the name of a vulnerability or a CVE ID and filter that list down. 
and then pick and choose which, which vulnerabilities that I would like to assess. So I can go through and check the boxes, check everything, and limit my scan just to those specified vulnerabilities. So we'll go back to the previous screen and talk about the remaining options here. There's TCP port scan and UDP, UDP port scan. Um, these are for specifying additional ports that you would like to scan. So with, with PureCloud, we'll scan commonly used TCP and UDP ports uh, every scan. So if there's something that's, that's not in that list of ports, um, you can then specify those and we'll, we'll make sure to include those as well. And you can find a list of, of what those default ports are in the documentation. The last option on the screen is for network utilization. Basically, this allows you to limit the bandwidth that's being used to perform the scans. So if you're on a slower remote connection, not a whole lot of bandwidth, don't want to saturate it, you can set that limit here. And we'll go to the next page where we'll talk about setting up credentials. So with, with PureCloud, you can enter credentials or sometimes called authenticated, they're, they're used for authenticated scans. Um, these are useful for getting deep um, access to the target machine. So without credentials, PureCloud can see any services that are exposed to the, to the network, anything that the machine is um, making um, accessible um, from, from, from the uh, outside. With credentials, we can then log into that machine. Um, look at files on the operating system, get version numbers, and, and we can be a lot more accurate um, in the information that we collect and the vulnerability tests that we run. So credential scanning um, is a um, uh, very uh, useful useful uh, aspect of vulnerability assessment. And to give a, another plug to the, the learning labs, um, we, we do also have a, a session coming up on credential scanning, so I encourage you to, to register for that as well to learn more. Now with these credentials, um, these can be stored in PureCloud's secure cloud credential store, so we can, we can store those in a very safe location. Um, but you do also have the option of storing these credentials locally, so they can be stored in the secure connector. And, and then that way, the, that credential information is just stored, you know, it's not, it's not leaving your network, you, you keep it under your control. And that's just a setting that you can find in the Pure Cloud preferences. So if you go to My Account Settings, Account Settings, you'll have an option there to toggle that between storing those credentials locally or, or storing them in our secure cloud. So the different types of credentials that Pure Cloud supports, you can see the tabs across the screen there. Windows, SSH, both password and, and key versions, uh, SNMP version 1, Web Forms, Web HTTP, and for Web HTTP, there's the basic digest NTLM, or we can do an automatic detection. So this is pretty straightforward. We can add our username and password. Um, if we need to specify a domain, that can be entered as well. And simply just, and you know, domain would apply for Windows credentials, of course. And I'll just flip through the different options here, and we can see that it's the different type of credential. Um, the different options available to us. So pretty straightforward. Once we have entered our credential, it's just a matter of choosing the devices that we want to apply that to. So this list here, you can see of these IP addresses. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this is why running that discovery scan is helpful because then that list is pre-populated and it's just a matter of entering my credentials and then choosing which hosts they get applied to. Okay, so we'll go to the next screen, which is the schedule screen. So the first option at the top there, this smart scan, this is basically an automatically triggered scan that's run anytime our Tripwire Vert research team discovers a, uh, uh, or, or um, identifies a new high risk threat. So anything that, that could have uh, you know, a very high risk um, 
when Tripwire designates it um, as a, a smart scan, that will kick off a scan automatically, and you know if the setting is enabled, and then you'll receive an email alert um, with information about the the new vulnerability as well as the detailed report about which which devices are at risk or, or may be at risk and, and then what you can do about them. The bottom part of that screen lets us set the schedule settings. So this will apply to all the scans for, for this scan profile. The one-time um, scheduled scan is just that. You can set a date and a time, say, 130, and it will just run that one time. Recurring, we can set this to run continually according to the schedule that's, that's specified. So we can do this weekly or monthly or on a specific day of the month. And then the none option basically means that we're not going to schedule any automatic scans. And this is useful for running an on-demand scan. So we can set up this profile and from the scan profile window we can always kick off uh, an on-demand scan. Okay, so that is the, the demonstration of uh, Pure Cloud Enterprise. And you'll notice at the top of the screen here I'm on my, my dashboard and to the right of it is PCI scan. And this is the PCI ASV scanning service. So this allows you to assess your network against PCI data security standards. Um, as I mentioned at the top of the presentation, there's a, two parts to this. There's an asset discovery, which is set on this screen. So we can specify the targets, uh, the, uh, uh, the range, uh, IP address range, or, or CIDR notation. So this will go out and it'll look and discover what, what assets are in that specified range. And then there's an option at the bottom for um, specifying whether or not those assets are behind a load balancer. And one recommendation that we have on here is that um, if you already know what, what's in the scope of this, this discovery scan, add those as specific hosts. Um, otherwise, use a, a CIDR range, uh, and then that way we can go in and, and inspect that range and, and find the, the hosts that are there. And another note on this page, so if there's any, um, any hosts that aren't, uh, that you need to exclude, you can exclude them as a part of the amendment process. So if you do specify that range and there were hosts that aren't actually in scope, there is a way to uh, amend that before sending, sending off the report. So after you, you've set up this discovery scan, you can click the start scan and we'll, we'll perform the discovery and then send you a notification email um, that it started and then once it's complete we'll send you another email that will include a link to the asset, uh, the asset discovery audit results. And on the view results dashboard, that's where you'll see the discovery results. And once the discovery scan is complete, the next step is to perform the vulnerability scan, which is done from the vulnerability scans tab. And so we select the profile that we'd like to perform the vulnerability scan and simply click start scan or we can then schedule the audit for a different date or time. And just as the, the discovery scans you'll, you'll receive an email when the scan begins as well as when the scan completes.
and on the vulnerability, excuse me one second, I have a pop-up in my way. And on the uh, view results page, we can see three different three different reports from that scan. There's an attestation report. summary report and a detailed report. So for the sake of time I won't spend too much time on these reports. If you are interested in uh, evaluation of, of Pure Cloud or the, the PCI service um, let us know. There'll be a, uh, a survey that pops up at the end of this presentation, and you can just answer yes to the question that you'd like an evaluation. We'll have somebody follow up with you and, and provide uh, that information. So now that we've looked at the PCI reports, I wanted to jump back over to my PureCloud dashboard and talk about the reports that are available for these vulnerability scans. So in the scan results window, there's a, an option at the bottom here to download a report. And there's two PDF versions that are available. There's an informational report. And this provides um, a, a rich set of information and, and data about everything that we found, not just vulnerabilities, but other informational um, aspects about your network. So potentially, uh, you know, a, not necessarily a vulnerability, but more of an exposure or um, or a service that's running that you would want to be aware of that you could shut that off um, because you know it's not necessary, or you know, it pot potentially could be used as a as an avenue of attack. So the informational report is is all about providing a rich set of information, and the other option would be the actionable report, and this is intended for remediation. So this is going to provide a list of vulnerabilities and, and remediation steps for fixing those vulnerabilities. The other two options that we have are for exporting the raw data. So we can export out to CSV and XML formats, and this can be useful if you want to integrate this data with third-party products um, that can consume data that's in that format. And then I'll also mention again that um, there is an integration with, with SIH. If you're using Tripwire IP360 and Security Integration, um, Security Intelligence Hub, you can integrate PureCloud with SIH. And PureCloud essentially shows up as a, a V&E manager to SIH and brings in those results. And that completes the demonstration. So at this point, um, I do want to remind everyone of our next Tripwire IP360 Learning Labs webinar. This is taking place, taking place next Wednesday, August 5th, starting at 11 a.m. Pacific. And this is going to cover our advanced security profiling language. And this is the code or the language that we use for writing vulnerability checks for IP360 and Pure Cloud. So we invite you to attend. We'll, we'll take a look at how to create and delete those ASPL vulnerability checks, um, talk about how you can search for specific vulnerabilities, um, and how these rules can interact with different op applications and operating systems. So I invite you to register for that webcast. Hope to see you there. And at this point, I would like to open up the floor to questions. So if you have any questions, please submit them to the chat window in WebEx. And if you don't see the chat window, there's a little bar at the top of your screen that you should see if you've gone into full screen mode in WebEx. 
there's a little chat button that you can click on. All right, and the first question is, uh, how does this compare to SecureScan? So uh, Tripwire SecureScan is a free vulnerability assessment service that Tripwire offers that's based on the PureCloud platform. So it uses that same secure connector, um, and there's no charge for using it. So SecureScan will allow you to scan up to 100 IP addresses, and you can do that up to four times a month. Um, however, SecureScan doesn't offer um, perimeter scans. That's that's only available in PureCloud. Um, doesn't offer web application assessment, doesn't offer that SIH integration. Um, really intended for small, um, small medium businesses, um, or even home networks. So if, you, if you're looking for vulnerability assessment on your home network, SecureScan is a great option for that. Um, for these extended enterprise use, cl use cases, um, PureCloud is, is typically the better way to go because of that SIH integration and the um, ability to scan beyond just 100 IP addresses. Uh, question, uh, does PureCloud work on multi-homed machines? Uh, yes, so if the, the network that you need to scan, um, if it's only reachable from a different NIC, a different uh, network card than, um, than the one that has an active connection to the internet, you can configure PureCloud um, to scan an alter alternate interface, and there's a command line tool that you can use. So if you go into, once you have the secure connector set up, Go into Program Files, um, x86, there's the Tripwire PureCloud Secure Connector. In there is a PureCloud Config tool that you can use to set um, the, the network interface that you'd like to use. Any other questions? Feel free to submit them now into the chat window. Does PureCloud work through a web proxy? Yes. Um, so if you're if you'll be scanning a network um, that must go through a, a proxy to reach uh, external websites. Um, so if, if you have the secure connector installed on a machine that that needs to use a proxy to reach the internet, you, you can use that same PureCloud config tool to go in and, and specify a proxy server. Any other questions, feel free to submit them through the chat window. We'll give it a couple couple seconds here. If anyone has any questions, feel free to submit them through the chat window. Going once, going twice. All right. So if you, if you do think of any questions, um, feel free to uh, reach out to your, your account manager. Um, also at the end of this session when we, when we wrap up here, you will see a survey window that will appear on your screen. Um, let us know your feedback. We, we're interested in, in improving this, this series, so your, your feedback is, is appreciated. So with that, I'd like to thank you for attending our session today. And we hope to see you on a, on a future webinar. Um, if you go to tripwire.com, under the events section, you'll see a list of all of the upcoming IP360 Learning Labs. So we encourage you to, to register, and, and we hope to see you at a future session.